electric car company Tesla Motors already got a $465 million loan from the federal government, but now Uncle Sam is letting them restructure that loan's terms to make sure they don't run out of cash. You might remember that Tesla was one of President Obama's pet projects. So is the government jumping in at the last minute to save them and avoid an embarrassment right before the election? Joining me now for more on this is Mark Morano, founder of ClimateDepot.com. The timing of this restructuring is a little suspicious. What do you think? Yeah, it does come right at a time, a month before the election, at a time when the Department of Energy green stimulus has been a major campaign issue, featured prominently in the first debate and even in the vice presidential debate. Uh, so there's a big part of the Obama administration wishes to uh, neutralize, if you will. So the question is, why are they restructuring this loan to Tesla Motors, which, by the way, sales are 30 percent below expectations. They've had 14 straight quarters. Uh, where they've lost $660 million. Uh, and you're, are you ready for this? Drum roll, please. The CEO, Elon Musk, is claiming it's so they can make early payments to DOE. Yeah. That's what they're now, that's what they're now claiming. And, but many other analysts look at this very skeptically, saying given the market for electric cars, given the history of Tesla Motors, it's, it's a hard one to swallow to believe that they're this cash rich, especially uh, given the decline, the, the disappointing sales and the lack of production. It's also, by the way. you know, it, it, I think a lot of people also don't realize that what we are underwriting, you and me as taxpayers, the thing we are underwriting here is a hundred and nine thousand dollar car. Yes. When you go into the Tesla showroom to buy one of the electric cars, it's a the base price for the Roadster is a hundred and nine thousand dollars. There's another sedan that's ninety seven thousand dollars, and yes. the cheapest model, which I think the battery goes for like three blocks before the thing dies is $45,000. That's the cheap one. But this is the equivalent of the American taxpayer who, by the way, I mean, we are out of money. We are broke. We just got the report today on what the deficit is. We don't have a dime to spare in this country. And here we are underwriting these cars where the buyers are, are plunking down $100,000. If you can afford a $100,000 car, why are you taking a tax credit from me and you for 7500 bucks? Can you explain that it's to true, me? Yeah. yeah, people like Leonardo DiCaprio of Hollywood is one of the owners of this. Uh, when the other cars, the Fisker Karma has Al Gore as one of its owners uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, of the car. This is for the wealthy, the elite. These, of course, these prices are before taxpayer subsidies, which is just, it's, it's, it's an outrage when you look at that. But what's significant here is that Elon Musk, the CEO, first of all, he's driven by fear of global warming. He's actually said CO2 will destroy large parts of the earth. So he's an ideologue when it comes to global warming. But he spent $480,000 lobbying the U.S. Congress uh, in, in Washington to get a $465 million loan. That was the end result of it. So that, he's a pretty good investor. He invests $480,000 in, the, in uh, the few years uh, right before the, the DEOE stimulus bill, and then he gets this big bill. Yeah. So he's also just got $10 million from the state of California for opening a factory there. This guy is worth $2 billion. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla Motors. Yeah, and he's so getting why does $10 he need million. our tax dollars? Why does he, if yes. he is worth that much money, why does he need our tax dollars for his company? Why do people, you know, who are buying, God love you, if you want to buy an electric car and spend $100,000 on it, that is your business. But why do you need taxpayer dollars to do it? I just think the average person doesn't realize that's what these programs are all about and that's where their tax dollars are going. Yeah, and he, he's, he's very good yeah. at getting their tax money. Again, $10 million from there, 465 Crazy. from the government. And now, uh, as they go forward here, the Washington Post just had an editorial on electric cars saying, if you build it, they won't come. Yeah. The old adage of who killed the electric car, well, I think Secretary Chu, our energy secretary, may have killed the electric car. And yeah. that's what we're finding here. Okay. They, model after model across the board, whether it's the Volt, they're all, they're all disappointing sales. Consumers run. aren't interested. Yeah. So. Mark, thanks for coming on. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Time now for today's 